gonna go and share with you a little bit about what's happened in the market. So here we go. All right, so as part of the market update tonight, I am so bummed that I'm here tonight without all of the April numbers. So I'll very quickly go through some of the, uh, or the March numbers. So the first is a roll up for Texas. So the average price last month was down 1% to 403,000. Um, the closed sales uh, were down 12.4%. Close sales being down 12.4% is honestly something that we should be celebrating considering that we have more than doubled the interest rate in less than a one year period. Uh, so earlier, um, as we were doubling the interest rate specifically towards the end of 2022, we saw sales down 30% year over year. So again, the fact that we're only down 12.4% is something to celebrate. The fact that prices are only down 1% is something to celebrate. Now that's just perspective uh, from, from doing this for 20 years. Some of you guys who might be newer might be really disappointed with this, but I will tell you one of the big takeaways that I want all of you guys that are new to take away from this is this. Um, don't overpay for your, don't bless you. Don't overpay for your prop. Don't overpay for your properties. Um, last year, 2021, 2020, you could have, right? 2023, you have to stick those numbers like crazy. Right now, we are part of what I'll call the sandwich generation for the real estate investors. So that means we're getting squeezed by a seller who wants what the property was worth a year ago. We're getting squeezed by a buyer who thinks that we're about to go into a housing downturn. We're getting squeezed by labor costs and we're getting squeezed by um, supply costs, all right? So we have to now more than ever really stick to our guns know our numbers and not overpay uh, not a single dime for any of our properties. The Houston market last month, the price was down, but it was only down 0.3%, so still very strong. Sales were down 18%, uh, but the good news is pending sales. They were only down 5% year over year. So as we close out the April numbers and do the reporting on that next week, uh, we'll probably look pretty good uh, for Houston for the month of April. In San Antonio, the price was down 1% year over year. Closed sales were down at uh, 12%, and you've seen on the far right hand side, in many cases, I've listed the number of leases. So you, where are people going? They're leasing houses. Where are the would-be sellers going? Well, if I can't get the price that I want, I might lease it, right? So we're seeing that in all of the markets. For the Dallas-Fort Worth market, the price last month was down 2%. And here's the win. Dallas is pulling up the curve for the rest of Texas. Sales were actually flat year over year, which is a flat is the new up and literally like should be doing the happy dance uh, for this. Leases up 29%. So a lot of would-be buyers now leasing. A lot of, uh, and I saw this back in 2008 uh, with uh, the market correction that we had then. There were a lot of accidental landlords in 2008, right? So we're gonna see that exact same thing again because a lot of people don't wanna let go of that three, four uh, percent interest rate either. Austin, oh, this is painful. Austin went up the fastest and went up the highest. Uh, Austin's coming down the hardest. Prices last month were down 12.6% year over year. Closed sales down 14%. Uh, was this valuable to you guys and kind of letting you know where we are in the market? Fantastic, good.